So that means our setup for the test has been done. Now, after 15 minutes, an alarm kind of a ringtone would come up on your phone. And if your phone is at silent mode, it would just vibrate. Okay. Uh, after 15 minutes, the report would be generated inside the app itself. Which yeah. So uh, in front of you, there is an EV battery, there is an EV charger, and our revolutionary product, EV Doctor. This device helps you diagnose your battery better. It's an IoT enabled device. It's, a, it's the size of your palm. You can take it anywhere and you can diagnose your battery at any remote location. It comes up with an app, Android app, that communicates with the device and does all the diagnosis for the battery using the app. Now, I'll tell you how to use the device. So, there are three main steps that you have to follow. First is B, that is the battery. Second is D, that is the device. The third is C, the charger. Okay, so in this sequence, we connect the device when we're diagnosing any battery. Okay, so starting from the first step, that is battery. So we'll connect the battery first. So here is the EV battery that we have got, and the device here is with us. Okay, right now the device is not on, the device is at rest. Now I'll be connecting the battery. That's it. So the first step is very simple and it's all done. Okay, now moving on to the next step in which we have to switch on the device. So that's the second step, the device. Okay, so there's this red button, and the device is being using a mobile charger to switch on. Okay, so we have already connected the mobile charger to it. It's a normal Type C charger. Any mobile charger can be used with it. Okay, and uh, as soon as we press the red button, the device switches on. A beep sounds come and a red LED glows. Okay, so that means the device is now on. In the second step, we are, when we are continuing, since it's an IoT enabled device, we have got an Android app that will get with the device. Okay. Since it's, an, it's a Bluetooth device, so you have to pair it once, just like a new headphones. So once the pairing is done, now we'll fill the battery related information from which is written on the battery specification sticker of the battery. Okay. The client detail in the battery is filled in this screen. Okay. So I'll fill it here. Okay. All that is done. Now we have to select which kind of test we want to perform. So for this test, we'll be performing a flash test. Flash test, 15 minute test. Okay. Now as the device is switched on, we have to just click on the connect device. As it is already paired, it is it is readily available on this. Now it is syncing with the device. As soon as it connects, a beep sound would come. Now the beep sound would come, voltage and SOC is here. So that means our battery is connected. And the second step is completed. Now I'll keep this phone here. Now the last step is the charger. So we'll connect the charger at the charger of the battery pack or the EV doctor. So here is the charger in. I'll connect it. Right now it's in an off condition. Always remember that it is in off condition connected. And now I'll just switch on the charger from the back. As you can see, as soon as the charger starts, the current starts flowing from the charger to the battery, the current will come up and the energy transferred from the charger to the battery would be shown onto the capacity side. Yeah, so the current and capacity is flowing, right? So that means our setup for the test has been done. Now, after 15 minutes, an alarm kind of a ringtone would come up on your phone. And if your phone is at silent mode, it would just vibrate, okay? Uh, after 15 minutes, the report would be generated inside the app itself. Which, so basically, this device works on uh, DCI computation and voltage current profiling, okay? So these information that we're getting from the battery with the VI curves are being sent to our cloud, where all the computation regarding the health, safety, voltage, and uh, all the performance parameters and the faults are being computed out there. And all those things are sent via this app. Once it once it completes its 15 minutes, after that you'll get the result in the report form.